God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross to pay for our sins and he arose on the third day and because he lives we can have life and life more abundantly and when we put our trust and our faith in the finished work at the cross what Jesus did for us and we begin to repent of our sins and turn to the Lord and ask God to forgive us of our sins then we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 It teaches how that's the foundation. That's what gets us to heaven. That's what we believe in as Christians when we trust Christ as our Lord and Savior. That's the foundation of receiving Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Our relationship with Christ gives us right standing with God. In the life that we live, there are different materials that we can build with. And he talks about wood, hay, stubble, silver, gold, precious stone, and every man's work will be tried in the fire. And there'll be those who have great rewards. There'll be those who have very few rewards. There'll be those who can still go to heaven, but they don't have anything to transfer over on the other side. What is it that God has called you to do? And are you doing it? And are you being faithful with that? Just because you have opposition, don't give up. Begin to keep your faith and your trust in the Lord that He will help you to do something that He's called you to do. If you truly are called to do something, God will never ask you to do something without supplying what you need to do it. God will always make a way, somehow, some way, to get what He's asked you to do done. We have to walk by faith and trust God to provide for us. And there are different people in the Bible who they had callings and they begin to trust God. Hebrews chapter 11 is an example of so many people who trusted God. They walked by faith. They were there walking with the Lord in the plans that he had for them. And when we begin to walk by faith and trust God, it makes a difference in our lives. And one day we'll give an account for our lives and the life that we live here will matter later. And God wants us to live with that in mind that the things that we do now will really matter then. And he wants us to live with eternity in mind. I believe that's why he said, he that wins souls is wise. Why is that? It's because it has eternal value. Someone who gives their life to Christ, their trust in the Lord as their savior, that's something that will last throughout eternity. They have a relationship with God. They'll get to spend eternity with him throughout eternity. And God wants us to begin to be mindful of the fact that the life that we live now will matter later and he loves us and he has an awesome plan for our lives and he wants us to begin to trust him and ask him what would you have me to do has god spoken to you about something that he wants you to do in your life something that he wants you to walk out in the life that he has for you if you don't know what god's plan is for you begin to pray and ask god say god show me what it is that you want me to do in my life begin to speak to me what it is you would have me to do and show me that plan so that I can begin to walk that plan out in my life. And as you begin to do that, my friend, God will begin to show up and help you as you begin to trust Him and walk by faith. One day we'll give an account for our lives, and it will be awesome if we trust God and walk with God and really begin to walk out the plan that He had for us. And that will matter later. God wants us to live that in mind that the things that we do now will matter then. Maybe you're watching today and you don't have a relationship with God like you should, or maybe you once had a relationship with God, but you know that that relationship is not where it should be, and you want to make things right with the Lord. Either way, if you want to say this prayer, say, Father God, I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. In Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. And God, I receive your forgiveness by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. And so if you just said that prayer and you believe that, I believe you just got born again. Find you a good Bible-based church. Find you some good Christian friends. Get into the Word of God. Develop a prayer life and watch God change your life. Until next time, be blessed.